Hey guys, welcome to another lunch hour review. Today I'm going to try this Marie Callender Sides. This one is the Cheesy Potato Casserole. It's shredded potatoes in a creamy cheesy sauce topped with crispy toasted corn flakes. Probably won't be very crispy in the microwave, but that's, that's what it says. Um, it's 13 ounces or 368 grams. We bought this at Meyer. It was $4.99. They have a bunch of these Marie Callender Sides, but that's, uh, Meyer had them for $4.99, so that's cool. Um, okay, here's the calories. Ugh. Um, so two and a half servings in a container, three fourths cup, 155 grams frozen, or about a half cup repaired is 160 calories. You eat the whole thing, it's only 380 calories, which is not bad. I've eaten meals much higher than that. There's your other information for you. And let's see, here's the direction on how to cook it. Now it says, um, do not, it's the preferred method is the oven and don't prepare it in a toaster oven break because we probably because it'll melt the plastic, but uh, there's your oven direction. That's the way you want it if you want a crispy topping. So a microwave oven, you can only cook one at a time for a crispy topping prepare in the conventional oven. So you, it's flat out telling you, this is not gonna be crispy if you make it in the microwave, but we're gonna remove the film and cook on high for six and a half to seven and a half minutes. I'll probably just do seven and be done with it. Make sure the food's cooked hot. Uh, make sure it's the, to the temperature, which who's got a food thermometer measuring that stuff, right? Let's see, let me turn you down. Uh, yeah. So there it is. Boy, there's lots of, lots of cornflakes on there. That's pretty cool. Too bad it's gonna be soggy. I wish they would just, if they just did it smartly, they could have put that cornflake um, in a pouch and let me sprinkle it on top after it's done microwaving. But instead, they don't do that. They put it on the top. Um, even if you do it in the oven, okay, open the package and sprinkle it on top and put it in the oven. I mean, who cares? It wouldn't be that big a deal, um, but they don't, so whatever. So there it is. I'm going to get in the microwave for seven minutes, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I really don't want to stir it up too much because I don't want the, the cereal to be underneath any more than I have to. Some of the pieces are a little crunchy, but let me see. We flip over a certain area. So it looks like shredded, like hash browns. I was expecting, like, I don't know, like a scallop potato. But you see they're like shredded potatoes. They look pretty pretty cheesy or saucy. I can't tell. It says cheese, so I'm assuming that cheese is in there. So anyway, I'm gonna let this uh, cool off for a minute and take it over the table and we'll try it out. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off. There is an, an odor coming from this. I don't know if it's garlic or onion or... I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's the cheese. I don't know what it is, but here we go. I think it might be garlic. Um, I tell you what, I wish they had. The, I would have rather just had the cheesy potatoes. If they're gonna say it's microwavable, I would rather just have the potatoes than that cereal because the cereal becomes really chewy, gets stuck in your teeth and everything. Hmm. Like a piece of soggy bread almost. And honestly, the seasonings they put in these potatoes. It's not that great. It's a very strong like onion garlic flavor, but it's not like a really nice, it's like an old onion. If you ever had an onion that's kind of um, been in the refrigerator too long, it's kind of got a little soft and, and it doesn't quite taste the same. That's the flavor this is. And honestly, um, I admit the time did say six and a half to seven and a half, so, and I went seven. So I could have went um, another 30 seconds, but it wouldn't have made a difference. But the potatoes are not cooked 100%. They're kind of still, they're not crunchy, but they're very firm still. And you know, I can live with the texture. Um, the, the cornflakes getting stuck in my teeth and being really chewy and the potatoes being a little firm. I could live with all that if the potatoes actually tasted better. But uh, yeah, the spices they used in there, I don't taste cheese at all. And it says it's like um, creamy, cheesy sauce. Um, the cheese really doesn't have much flavor. It's the spices they used. And like I said, it's like an old onion or a really strong, like funky garlic. No, it's just not very good. I keep eating bites hoping it'll taste better if I don't get something in there, but it, it doesn't get better. No, 
So even baking this, yes, the, the top might be crispy and not like that chewy texture, but it's not gonna change the flavor any one way or the other, whether you bake it, microwave it, boil it, broil it, you know, flame broil it, whatever you're gonna do. Um, the flavor is not gonna, well, if it's crispy charcoal, I guess it would change the flavor, but if you make it the way it's supposed to be made, it's not gonna change the flavor. The flavor is gonna be the same. There are so many ingredients on there, there's no way I could read all those, so um, I'm not even gonna try, but I'm sure there's some garlic and onion in there, and that's what tastes bad. Could be a little bit of a funky cheese flavor, but I don't think so. I, I've tasted plenty of funky cheese and that's that's not the flavor I'm getting. Um, hmm, you know, I even I hate to recommend this at all. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a two out of five. I really just do not like this flavors. And, and like I said, I love garlic and onion and stuff. I, I eat garlic and onion up, you know, I love it. But um, something about that overall is just not a great flavor. So I would skip it if I were you. Um, as a side, as a lunchtime, as a whatever, I would I wouldn't get this one because the flavor is just not that great. Maybe if you put it your own seasonings in there, it might taste a little better, but it's not worth it for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.